Welcome, everybody. It's Tuesday. Uh, well, no, I'm sorry. It's Thursday. But we have these calls every Tuesday, every Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And, you know, here it is. We just had an opportunity to take a look at Live Pure, uh, the coffee, yeah, uh, the coffee new launch company that everybody has a chance to get a look at. And that video will be uploaded to YouTube and come on over to my Telegram to learn more. And then, folks, but now we're going to take a look at liquidity pools. You know I'm excited about liquidity pools, folks. And this is where I've been putting the majority of my capital at to play around within this space. Now, folks, if you haven't already, I'm going to ask that you please go ahead and like, share, comment, and subscribe on the YouTube video. I'm going to ask that you like it, that you do that you do comment, and that you do subscribe. Now, folks, I need to let you know that I am not a financial advisor. I'm the most super risky YouTube dude I've ever met in my life. So before you get into anything that I talk about on my channel, you need to understand that you can lose some or all of your crypto in every single thing that I talk about. And then so, folks, I tell everybody, only use risk capital. Treat it like the casino. Treat it like the lottery. It's all a gamble. Now, folks, on my channel here, Money, Ministry, and Motivation, Passive Income, 7,600 subscribers. Why don't you be one? 1,200 videos. Why don't you watch one? And then, folks, here's all of my links to get in contact with me, my personal Telegram, my TikTok. Now, folks, I have a 5,000-member Telegram chat, my website, CryptoMadeEasyWithTheZ.net. The Telegram announcement channel, folks, in case you don't want to chit chat. I have an 8,000-member Facebook. And if you're on with me right now, folks, you got on my live Zoom link that we have live Zooms every Tuesday and Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Folks, over 566,000 views. All right. Let's get to it, folks. Concentrated liquidity pools. You've been hearing me talk about it. Maybe you understand what it is. Maybe you don't understand what it is. But let me put it in perspective for you. Liquidity pools have been around for a long time. But concentrated liquidity pools is a newer concept. Now, I'm going to try to explain this to you as easily as possible in order for it to make sense to you. Now, when you go on any exchange, your Coinbase's, your Kraken's, your KuCoin's, your Binance's, those are centralized exchanges. But the great reason most of us go there is so that we can swap out of different cryptocurrencies, like swap from Solano over to USDC, Maybe we're swapping from Bitcoin to Ethereum, Ethereum to, you know, whatever, you know, we swap tokens. That's what we do, right? But folks, when this swap happens, have you ever noticed that they always charge you some type of fee? Well, that's what exchanges do, right? Then folks, there's also decentralized exchanges, meaning that you hold the keys. It's Web3. I'm talking about things like pancake swap. Orca, it, it's where you are connecting via Web3 through a smart wallet or a Web3 wallet, right? Now, decentralized exchanges and centralized exchanges offer liquidity pools and concentrated liquidity pools. Now, what happens when you get into a concentrated liquidity pool, what you're doing is you're providing crypto to that exchange. Now, why are you providing crypto to that exchange? Well, you're providing crypto so that that exchange can easily swap people in and out, right? And so if you're looking right here, folks, right, in this concentrated liquidity pool, I got $20,000 in this thing. And then you can see right now I'm out of range, so I'm not earning but I was earning while it was in range. And we'll talk about all of that stuff later, right? But I gave Orca, the centralized exchange, 
$20,000 worth of Solano in USDC. Now, because I let Orca decentralized exchange use my Solano and USDC in order to help other people swap, they give me a percentage of those fees that they charge. Let me say that again. So when you're swapping, they're charging fees. But when you get into a concentrated liquidity pool, you're providing the liquidity so you get rewarded with some of the fees. I hope that makes sense, folks. Now, why am I putting $20,000 in a concentrated liquidity pool? Well, folks, because if I want this $20,000, all I got to do is go over here and click withdraw. And it'll be right here in my wallet. Now, what wallet are you talking about? Well, you familiar with MetaMask and Trust Wallet and all of those different Web3 wallets? Well, this is SoulFlare Wallet on the Solano network. And then so, folks, you're also going to see that I got 12000 over here in this wallet and a couple of different wallets. I'm sitting on some uh, Solano. I'm sitting on some Soul Chat. Now, folks, Solano is a powerful token, right? Been around for years, lightning fast, a lot of up room to move. So I'm long on Solano. But now all of these other tokens are just meme tokens. Soul Chat, that's a meme token, right? But what if I told you when I bought Soul Chat, I spent $1,000. It's worth $37.96 now. Now, folks, when I bought Bonk, I bought Bonk and I spent $1,000. And this was about $5,000, but I spent some of it. When I bought Helium, it was $1,000. It's worth $1,200. When I bought Dog with Hat, it was $1,000. It's worth $1,150. Render bought at $1,000 and it's worth you know a little bit over. Smog bought at $1,000. That's down about $300, right? I just got some of these Moon Key tokens because they just came on. But what does this mean, right? Well, over here in liquidity pools, you have the opportunity to provide the exchange with different assets. And so when I come over here and I click in filter and just put in Solano, right? So this should be coming up. All right, so every type of liquidity pool pair shows you right here, right? And so Solano USDC, right? Uh, then you got Moonkey Soul, then you got Slurf and Soul, right? And then you got Soul USDC, Render Soul, IQ50 Soul, right? And then so you get to see Bonk Soul, right? Whiff Soul, Mobile Soul, right? And so I decided myself that I'm just going to go ahead and buy some of these same tokens and just hold them. Just hold them and see what they do. And then, folks, honestly, I've been winning on those tokens, right? Now, Let's get back over here to the good stuff, right? So back over here, right? You see, folks, this is out of range. And I want to show you how instant this is, right? So like this $57, that's part of my yield from the day before I went out of range. Now, this Solano USDC pair is not earning right now because Solano is under 180. Here's my range I set. I said, I'll put my liquidity in from 180 to 209 or 210. So as long as Solano is between 180 and 210, I'm getting paid roughly 31% per month. Folks, that's over a percent a day. You know, over a percent a day. Just that easy. Now, folks, you see this moon key in Solano right here? This is staying in the middle. Now, this says 173% in a 30-day period. Um, I don't know, but this has been like $4. And this has just been since I've been up earlier today. And then I guess what, uh, no, these numbers are a little bit off there. But regardless, this is an approximation, right? Now, if I want to take this out, right? This is a matter of 394.45. That's about right where I went in at. But I already made a thousand I mean a hundred dollars by scalping off of here. Now I know I'm talking a whole bunch of different stuff, but I just want to show you the beauty of this particular way you do things. So, like 
this is twenty thousand dollars sitting right here, right? I have to send it to an average Joe that that I don't know and any of that stuff. And what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and show you how quickly I can have my money back, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and get this twenty thousand dollars in Solano out of here uh, because the price dropped down out of my range, but I made money already. And also, folks, it's going to be right back here in my wallet in like no time, right? So I'm going to go ahead and approve that transaction. And what that's doing is approving me to take my money back out of the liquidity pool. And also, I'm harvesting that $53 that was sitting there in yield right then. Now, folks, my uh, internet is a little bit slow, but it looks like the transaction is confirming. And it's a good chance it could already be in my wallet. Okay, there it is, right? And then, so let me show you. You remember that wallet was just at 10,000? It's at 30,000 right now. And so I just want you to know and see how quickly you can get your money in and out of liquidity pools. And like, I can send this anywhere. You know, that's my money. You know, just that quick. Same thing with the yield. I can harvest the yield just that quick. So let me sum this up, all right? Liquidity pools are simply you inserting your crypto into a decentralized or a centralized exchange. While your crypto is there and you have it in a position, a range, they're going to pay you a yield. So extra money. And like, you can like set it and forget it. And so like, I'm more active managing mine than a lot of people are. But literally, not even being active, you can make 10 to 15% a month. Guys, remember Novatech, that 3% a week that we seen the moon and stars with at 12% a month. When I'm telling you, you don't need to jump in any of these other projects I'm about to talk about because I'm about to talk about some other projects. You need to learn how to keep your money in a liquidity pool. And it's just a never-ending fountain. Never-ending fountain. It don't end when you get to two or 300%. There's no, oh, I'm gonna take 20% at the end. It ain't none of that stuff. It's literally, it's just a never-ending fountain. Now, are there some risk? Yes, of course there's risk. Well, what is the risk? Well, you can get into a liquidity pool. Oh, and actually, you know what? I'm I'm about to come. I'm about to actually come out of that other liquidity pool. I just thought about it. I want to come out of that. Um, and the reason that I'm coming out of that is because the liquidity was dropping in that pool. When I got in, it was like 24 million. And so there's some things you need to know, right? So liquidity is dropping in this pool. So I'm gonna come on up out of here. And I know, see, it's 24 hour volume. This is like five million. So I'm gonna go ahead and just withdraw this and get this right back in my wallet. And you see, this is gonna be some of those moon key tokens and some Solana. And I'm okay with that, I want that. Come on back to my wallet. And then I'm just gonna hold these moon key tokens, which would be about four or $500 worth. And that's why I wind up with these tokens in my wallet. And so once again, if moon key moons, you know, then I'll receive the rewards from it. And if not, then the least, I mean, the most that I can lose is roughly $400 on that token if it went to zero. And then folks, you know, most tokens don't go to zero, but these are mean tokens. These aren't anything long-term that I would be telling you that, hey, you need to make sure that, you know, you keep these. That this That's more of the game, the gambling side that, you know, the type of stuff I like to do. And then so folks, you see that's gone, right? completely withdrawn. And so just like that, I'm out of liquidity pools and the capital's back in my wallet. I got $470 in moon key. I'll probably just hold those and, you know, keep it rocking. And then folks, just like all the other things, if you got multiple wallets, so like I'm a flop over here real quick. And then see, this is LP pool two, different set of token lists right there. So a completely different token list. And because this is a completely different account. And then so let me shrink this right down to normal size again. Boom. And you see it's $4,800 in this one, right? And then this one is out of range because I have both of these ranges set about the same. But I'm going to let this one come back in range. 
And then where in my other wallet, I'm going to just let those tokens appreciate. But once again, don't just get going. I've got a course I paid for that was tremendously helpful. And I was up and running in four to five hours and I'm enjoying it. And I'm making 1% per day at least without having to send my money nowhere. And if 30% a month ain't good enough for you, I don't know what you're looking for. And if 10 to 15% a month ain't good enough for you, what are you trying to do out here? It's pretty good for me. So let's go ahead and open up for questions on liquidity pools.